Now, the next two reactions I'm going to kind of group together. They are two different reactions, but they test for the same thing, and that is the presence of cysteine. Now, cysteine is a primary anion, but specifically, it has, it's the only one here that actually contains sulfur in the amino acid. And there are two tests for this. The first is Follin's reagent, so F-O-L-I-N-S. So Follin's reagent, and I'm going to cheat and look at the screen here. It's this reagent. Now, what will happen with Fallon's reagent is that cysteine will react with the amine group here to basically substitute off the sulfur. And yes, I'm not going to draw this from memory. Now, this reaction is unique in that it will only react with cysteine and, cysteine, and specifically this complex here is red. So even though it will probably react with other amines, it's only when we have the sulfur present do we end up getting this red complex. Now, another option here is a test for free sulfur. And this is done using what's called plumbite or PbO2, or the plumbite, plumbite ion. So PbO2 minus 1, this plumbite ion is formed by mixing lead to oxide under highly alkaline or basic conditions. And what happens is that we get reaction of the plumbite ion, the Pb, oops, HPbO2 minus 1, with this complex, and we end up getting lead to sulfide. Now, this lead to sulfide is a make sure I'm right, is a black precipitate. So if we add plumbite, this HB, HPbO2 minus one, which again, we form by make, taking lead to oxide and reacting in our basic conditions to give us this complex. If cysteine is present or cysteine is present, it will abstract a sulfur from it and end up giving this solid black precipitate. So these are our two tests for cysteine, Fallon's reagent and the plumbite reaction.